My name's Fran Sands and this is MyBoxingCoach.com uh, We're going to look in this video at a basic hand defence. Now as an orthodox boxer uh, you would use this against another orthodox boxer's jab. Um, if you were a southpaw against an orthodox it would be used against the orthodox's right hand or back hand. I won't get caught too much in the southpaw orthodox thing. Check out the uh, report, download the report and you can have a little read of that and that'll, that'll tell you what you need to know about southpaws against orthodox. Now, this is a very common um, defence to use. It's, it's, it's a really bread and butter boxing skill. Um, and, and the beauty of it is, whereas with other defences such as the slip or the roll or the duck, where you do those defences without waiting for an opponent's shot to come. This one is a reactive defence, so you can actually use this um, in response to a jab coming. Okay, You spot it, you use the, the block, because it's such an economical defence. Okay, so from the boxing stance, the first move, the same as with punches, this is not an arm. Even though the arm does the actual block, it's more than that. We need to make sure that the body does the work in order to allow the block to take place. So the first action is a push off the back leg that rotates the hips and the back hand simply moves slightly in front of your face allowing you to block any straight jab coming towards you. And from the side okay. the, rot the, the, the rotation of the hips is extremely important. I'll explain why in a moment. Okay, very simple, okay, full speed. That's it there. So what are the common problems? Well the first common problem relates to the use of the, the legs and the hips. If I'm facing a very strong opponent and I try and block his shot by just using the hand the, the hand without getting any of my body weight behind the block then it's likely that the opponent's jab will come straight through my hands and still knock my head back okay so it's about actually fully blocking the opponent's shot the opponent's fist needs to land clean in your palm okay second main problem is that we over exaggerate the movement if you imagine a tunnel going towards your opponent and you need your hands to stay within that tunnel. What we don't want to happen is that we reach too far or as we block the jab we push it away too far. And you can see there if the jab comes at me and I reach for it all I do is leave a big opening here okay? and your opponent can turn his jab into a left hook and you've got some problems. But the simple block to the jab And again, make sure the body shape is right. Don't reach too far. And the final common fault is not throwing your own shot back. There's no use blocking the shot if you're not going to respond. And the speed of response needs to be instant. Because the opening that is created when you block a shot is only open for a split second and then it's gone. So the kind of response time you want is block, jab. Here you can see from the side. Okay. Instant response. If you blocked it, you might as well capitalise. You know you're in range because you've actually had to block your opponent's shot. Okay. So you don't have to worry that you'd be on range and your jab will fall short. So throw an instant response back. My name's Fran Sands, this is myboxingcoach.com.